Join us now as we delve into the unfinished case of Holmes, an escape room game from Adventure that revolves around a mysterious unfinished case of Sherlock Holmes himself, in which you're going to have to solve puzzles in order to make it out of your own house and may perhaps unframe a murderer suspect. What does it mean to unframe? <laughs> you uh, you uh, prove their innocence. That's what it is. Uh, this is, as I said, one of those escape room games, if you're not familiar, where essentially you are trying to solve a series of puzzles, and this particular one comes with an app where you enter answers into there to find out whether the answers are correct or not. Uh, this is also one that comes with a bunch of different paper components, uh, some things that will need to be puzzled together in various ways. Uh, so some, not all of the puzzles are purely cerebral. Some of them have to do with math, uh, words, sometimes literally just images, piecing things together. Yeah, we're going to do our best not to give away really any of the puzzles. So uh, if you do try to, try to pick it up, you won't have any advantages. <laughs> That's right. We're not going to help you cheat, although it does come with all the solutions available online <laughs> if you really want to ruin the experience for yourself. But yeah, as you can see, we have the first letter and puzzle, if you really wanted to, mm. as well as the envelopes with some components which uh, we won't open, but we'll maybe talk a little bit about. Mm -hmm. And this album, which pretty much has you go through each page as you solve and get to the next set of puzzles, yeah. as you can say. So as you go through the game, you're uncovering more of these new materials. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we, we've played through several of these oh, yeah. escape room games at this point. Uh, and this one is certainly goes from the same path. Uh, it, it, well, the one that we played, which was uh, the Stargazer's Manor, mm -hmm. uh, is one that I think you commented felt probably the most similar to this as, opp as opposed to Exit or Unlock. Well, this one definitely, one of the things is we use the term escape room, but it's sort of almost like an in-between of that and the... Sherlock Holmes games or any of those mystery games because you're not really locked in the house. You're more of almost like it's the opposite. You're going deeper in as you solve things. That's true. Thematically, yeah. You can. You have an option to do this with a time limit, which they have for two hours. But if you want, of course, you can just keep playing until you finish solving it. Uh, and you can do this solo or with a larger group of people. We did it just the two of us. Mm -hmm. Um, we tend to like, I think two is a good for any of these kind of puzzles. Yeah, like two may, like to four maybe. More than that can really push it sometimes. I mean, that's our preference because we all want to at least know a little bit about what's happening with each puzzle. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of part of the fun. But obviously sometimes you may have troubles and the app helps there, which is really nice. Yeah, the hints were pretty solid. The app interface in general, uh, pretty easy to work through. The puzzles themselves, I thought, were pretty good. Uh, it was... Uh, some of them were fairly difficult. Yeah, no, there were a couple where we were a little stumped. It's not the hardest, I think, of all of them we've had, but well, so we've had some that are pretty, pretty uh, not in this game, but I can think of some other ones where we've been pretty like, yeah, we get it. This right, is, yeah. This was a good balance. Uh, it w definitely wasn't too hard, wasn't too easy. I will say, I think probably our biggest hurdle with some of the puzzles came from either a rules issue or a language translation issue. Uh, English uh, is not the first uh, language this game was published in. So occasionally there was a strange little, little thing where it wasn't totally clear what we were supposed to do. Uh, and for that reason, I would recommend if you haven't tried an escape room ever, it's, it's a leg up if you are familiar with them because if you are, you can kind of figure out, I know how these work. I can see what they want me to do in the next part. There's nothing crazy obscure, but there were a couple little things where, for instance, we were stuck on a puzzle before realizing, oh, we actually went ahead to a new puzzle. We were supposed to solve the other one first. Yeah, it didn't really tell us. That we didn't actually type in the answer of this puzzle. <laughs> yeah. So when we were on the next one, we were like, no, this should be the answer. <laughs> yeah, we were a little confused by that. <laughs> but in addition, I mean, one thing to just point out, this comes with a, quite a number of puzzles. Like, pretty much either of these are... So most of them were like two puzzles within them yeah, at to least. get to the answer. Yeah. So there's a lot of puzzles to go on. And one of the things that's really nice, this is one thing that uh, I think we're a little bit disagreeing on upon, mm -hmm. with a lot of escape rooms, but you can repeat. You know, they actually tell you if you do cut up and stuff, they give you uh, where you can print them out. So yeah. if you want to give it to someone else to play, you can. And to me, that's a big thing because that means it gives a lot more reusability. And it's also fun, if, especially when it has a time element, to be like, all right, I did this about an hour 50. Let's see how quickly you can do it. Yeah, no, that is always nice. It's really appreciated and cool that they did that. Um, I think this took us uh, like 
Uh, I think we did it in about two hours. We did. Uh, we, we, we actually did pretty well. Uh, but it, if you have more people, uh, it's definitely doable in that time. Uh, but that's a solid game time for it's about 20 bucks right now on Amazon. And there are multiple other uh, adventures from the same company that all use the same app. So if you like it, you can keep going back to that well a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely, it was a solid escape room. There wasn't anything in it that was, you know, uh, some crazy different thing that blew my mind, but it was effective. I yeah, think. no, it was a lot of fun. The puzzles do feel each different. Yeah. Like there were times when, like I know I was just like, uh, Jonathan, this is yours. Like, <laughs> right. I, don't, I don't know what's going on. And then I would be like, I got this. Yeah, they played the different strengths for different people's types of brains. And they were, they were satisfying yeah. to, to complete. And $20, I think, is a great price for this kind of thing. Especially, as I said, you can reuse it. Meaning that once you solve it, you can give it to like a family member or a friend and see how they do. Because it's always nice to find out and shed it, uh, share this without having to spoil it or... Uh, this puzzle sort of solved already because I drew all over it. <laughs> That's never a good look. You don't want to do that. Here are our crits and misses for Unfinished Case of Holmes. For crits, the puzzles were creative, satisfying to solve, and used a variety of unique components that made them feel really different and unique. Integration with the app is simple but effective, walks you through it, has a couple of cool audio clips, and the hint system built into that is pretty nice as well. I do think that escape rooms can really use apps to their advantage, and this one does not shy away from it. The game is reprintable. You can download new sheets of paper for all the components in the game so you can play it again or give it to a friend. For misses, we did find a little bit of trouble using the app at times with the directions, probably because of a language translation error. Definitely something to keep an eye out for. And while this game is titled The Unfinished Case of Holmes, it doesn't actually take place in Holmes' time. It's really about like reading some notes from him in, in the present day. It doesn't fully feel like you're along with Holmes as some maybe other Sherlock Holmes games that are out there. Yeah, the theme doesn't quite come across in that regard, which could be a letdown if you're really a Sherlock Holmes fan. The Unfinished Case of Holmes was a fun escape room with lots of good puzzles, lots of interesting components, and in addition, can be used over and over again, meaning it has a lot of value for what it comes with. Certainly, I would not say it is the best escape room game that we've played, but for the price, uh, and if you are someone who loves these kinds of games, you're probably going through a lot of them at this point, it's definitely worth picking up, and you, you'll, have, you'll have a fun night, I think, with a, with a good gaming group. So uh, check it out, it's out there right now. Uh, let us know in the comments if you've been able to play it or any of the other games from this same series. No spoilers. No spoilers, please. Uh, otherwise, until the next time, I'm Jonathan. I'm Will. And this was a Roll for Crit review. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome board game content from Roll for Crit. And please leave a comment. We're lonely.